Hello and welcome to Infinity. Using a green screen as a background is something that's done in the movie industry a lot so that you can cut away a person or scene and put in some CGI or another scene behind it. You can do the same in photography, you can get green screens, or you can use other colours as well. In fact, originally they used to be blue. But it's not as easy as it first appears, and it's very easy to get colour contamination, and it can be difficult to select the whole thing. You can already see here the number of shadows and things like that, just the bits and things around here. So we're going to look at how you can do this, what doesn't work, and what does work, and some little tips and tricks around it. So first of all, you might think, why not just go to Select and select Sample Colour, then click here. If I slide this, it's going to move to different points. But I have to use the tolerance here to stretch that out. So I can stretch that out away there. If I'm missing the bits at the tops there, it doesn't matter about that. Say Apply there. And if you want to uh, to select more, you'd simply go to this the selection brush there, make sure you could add selected there and paint in these other areas. However, when we look at this now, I'm going, OK, we've selected the green, but we want to select these parts here. So I need to invert the selection. So I go select and invert pixel selection. And just to inspect this now, we're going to do a control C and control V. You can always use masking and things like that in originally. But so I turn off the bottom layer now. Control D so to take off the marching ants. Look, if I go into this, look what I've got here. In here, I can see partly through the subject here. That means it's being selected partially. And there's also bits of the green outside that it has not been removed. In other words, it's too vague and gentle and going to areas that we don't want it to go. So that's not doesn't work. So if I can delete that one, bring back the original. What else? Select, maybe select colour range and greens. But you can see already it's sort of selecting into the thing here. That again is not accurate enough. So Control D, that doesn't work. One you can use that can work is the one over here. Although there are also some tips and tricks with this, which the Flood Select tool also knows the magic wand. And so if I select that and click here, I can change the tolerance up here or I can click and slide here and it will gradually increase. You've got to wait for it because it's used a lot of processing power. So you've just got to wait for the thing to catch up. And eventually it'll kind of get there. That'll do. And again, I can use the Paint away here and paint away the odd details for this, etc. And then you go into a select and invert the pixel selection. So I'm selecting my subject. I'll do a control C and control V on this. And turn off the bottom layer, control D. And look at the things that have already happened here. Well, first of all, I've got these green bits here, and that's because. When I use the Flood Fill tool, so the Flood Select Magic Wand tool, there we go, the contiguous here is checked. In other words, it's only ones next to it. So things in holes are not selected. So I should have unchecked that. It's 27% tolerance, and I know now I can always just type that figure in. But overall, it's actually quite a reasonable selection to this. Except if you're going close, it's really got a chunky edge to it. So let's try redoing this. We don't want that hard pixelated edge. It means something a bit softer. So I'm going to click on that. Click here. Now I can just get the, this click in here. And I've got the 27%, so I get that straight away. And I'm going to unclick the contiguous. See the areas here not selected. So we're going to click again. Now you can see it's gone around all sides and all those holes are filled in. So I can just paint away the odd things if I want to do so, but it's actually not necessary when you're going to select the whole item. And so I go to Select and Invert Pixel Selection. And But now how do I get rid of those, those hard edges? Well, one way to do that, if I go in closer to this, 
is I need to feather the selection because at the moment it's quite a hard pixel um, selection here. So I go to select feather and increase this to one pixel and apply that. Now then I can then go control C and control V to paste it on the layer above. Turn off the bottom layer, control D to get rid of the marching ants. And you can see here now, let's change this. There we go. I've got a smoother edge and I haven't got that hard pixelated edge, but I've got the next problem, which is color is coming through. So look at this here. There's bits of color around it and there's bits of color around here. One way to get rid of that color is to use the defringe. And the way to do that is go to filters, colors and defringe. And usually you use this when chromatic aberration doesn't work and it's a bit stronger. So if I just click on this, the greenish area there, notice the way this has now jumped to the green. And I just bring down, I'll bring this up here so we can put it next to it. I bring down the edge brightness threshold and you can see there it goes from green. There's a point at which flat disappears. I can check all around here whether there are any other areas that need it as well, because if necessary I could redo it. But I apply that. And now I've got the... the figure but there's still some green around here so there is a bit of a problem with this so i'm going to show another way of doing this which is a quite interesting and i only didn't realize until recently which is and go back to here in fact i'll just go down the the history here and look back to where i did the flood select here What's the last? Where's the last flood select? There's one down here. So down to here, and then I painted that away. So I inverted the selection. So what I'm going to do now is to go to select and refine, and that will look at that and see if you can make any improvements. But it's fine as it is like that. But the trick now is to go to the output here and go selection and select a new layer. So output to new layer. And then when I apply that, it's going to do on my new layer for me already. But now if I look into this, look, all the colour on the outside is gone. That's because Affinity Photo adds an extra step when you bring it out to the new layer, which is removing colour contamination, which is where you get that bit of green around here. So there I've got really good cut out from the green screen using the magic wand, the flood select tool, and by using refine and the output from refine rather than straight to a selection, do it to a new layer. Anyway, that's it. You can use this, of course, on a lot of other things. We are selecting that again, people are against a fairly plain wall or against grass or something, which is reasonably easy to do, or even another one where you're doing a selection and you're using your refine, output the refine, to a new layer. That's it anyway and thank you very much for watching.